Okay guys, so in this video I want to talk about the posture and one of the problems is that you guys are probably getting the posture wrong because you are standing in a certain way to help you compensate for a poor sequence in the backswing. Now, a couple of things happen for most amateurs in the backswing position. The first problem is that you start sequencing the backswing wrong, which basically means you're moving your lower body um, too early in the backswing. And if you start moving your lower body too early in the backswing, what will happen is you'll just bring the club around with you, okay, and as you get to the top you'll end up standing up with a flat shoulder rotation. What you need to do is you need to understand that it's upper body, well it's hands and arms and upper body first, then you can turn with the lower body and that is the sequence that we are looking for in the backswing position. So that's one of the problems I encounter. The second problem that I encounter is disconnection of the arms in the backswing. So golfers tend to do things like this. The lead arm gets too disconnected and the problem when you do this is that you'll end up over rotating the club. And what I mean by this is the further my arm is away from my body, the more open the face is, the closer it is, the obviously squarer the face is. So if I get set up to the golf ball mimicking a typical sort of problem that I encounter, golfers will sort of stand like this because it compensates for this sort of excessive rotation. But the problem from here is you're always going to struggle with your sequence and your balancing. And that's why what we tend to see with a lot of the pros is that they always look like they're standing a lot closer to the golf ball than we would potentially perceive, particularly obviously with things like the irons and the short irons in particular. So what you need to start doing is in your posture, if you sort of hold the club as I'm demonstrating here, and imagine the club is quite like a heavy weight, so it's going to pull your upper body, okay, so it creates a good bend of the hip. So see the way my shoulders go over my toe line, a little bit of a softening of the knees, my hips don't fall too far behind my ankle line, and that is a good posture. Now, for a lot of golfers that I work with, that feels quite close to them. Okay, now, a good reference, you would have the shaft of the club pointing towards your belt line. That would be good. Okay, if you start standing too far away and sinking, then it obviously isn't going to be pointing there. Um, and then from here, what you then want to work on is, first of all, understanding the sequence, as I previously mentioned. But you want to try and get the sense that your hands, as you take the club back, are a little bit more connected. And all of a sudden, if you can start to do that, then you'll get rid of that sort of need and desire to stand further away from the ball. So it might take a little while to get used to, but just introduce it gradually in towards your practice. Gradually start to stand you know, a little bit closer in some of your practice sessions, work on the takeaway in a few practice sessions. But ultimately, if we can improve the posture and encourage yourself to have a better bend from the hip and stand closer, get the arms more connected in the backswing, like I see with students I get the chance to work with, it improves dramatically. See you soon.